If you're starting on web development, it can be a little bit daunting. There's now just so much info out there that it can be difficult to dilute and find out where to start, or rather more specifically, what language you should learn. And first a disclaimer before I jump into this. These are my thoughts and opinions and are based on the journey that I went on and I think it's the easiest way to go forward. So then what should you learn when starting out on web development? Long story short, it depends. And what I mean by it depends is that you'll need to do some market research. The reason for this is that you need to understand the demand for where you live. Now there is the option for remote work and this narrows this gap, but it's still useful to know. So I'll save you some time here. You should be picking up JavaScript. But why? What about Python, C Sharp, PHP, all of those? Now remember what I said previously, this may change based on your market demand. And you're unlikely to go amiss if you choose one of the top 10 languages. So then why JavaScript? Well, JavaScript may not be the fastest or most perfect language. There are definitely a lot of critics about it. So understandably, it does have its flaws, but there is some hope on the horizon with emerging technologies in the JavaScript space. However, there are a few factors that make me believe it's a great starting point for new self-taught developers. Now, obviously the web is built up with JavaScript, so that goes without saying, but there's more to it than that. First, the barrier to entry is low, the market demand is high, it has an entry to learning type systems, as well as not only is it good for front end, but you can use it on the back end as well, giving it great flexibility. Now, there are a lot of critics that don't like JavaScript on the back end, but the reality is, is that it's there, and I think it's a great way to get started. The most important thing here is that you're actually using JavaScript to learn core programming fundamentals. Data structures, design patterns, algorithms, all can be learned and solidified using something like JavaScript. The point I'm really trying to get through here is that when you're starting out as a self-taught developer, it can sometimes be unclear on where you want to work or what you are passionate about. And so picking something up like JavaScript gives you the flexibility to see where your interests lie, while also solidifying those core programming principles which will help you pick up other languages and become a better developer. So where does Golang come into the picture? After learning JavaScript and maybe picking up some of these books, you decide that maybe you enjoy more back-end development side of things. You may feel that you want to expand your knowledge and work on something that's maybe more strongly typed. I feel like Golang is the next best step after JavaScript. Not only is the syntax quite similar, but it feels really familiar when you're jumping into it, compared to if you had to learn something like C Sharp. To top this off, Golang will introduce you to a different approach with programming. The way that you make code in JavaScript will differ when you go into Golang. Obviously, the core fundamentals are the same, but the approach is a bit different. Also, learning things like pointers and Go routines does get a better understanding of how to manage dependency injection, which I feel in JavaScript is sometimes missed. In short, Golang for web development feels like the next logical step after JavaScript. Now, there will be some who disagree with everything that I just said. If there's anything that you take away from this video, there's two things I want to ensure. The first is whatever language you decide to choose, stick to it and learn it well. And in doing so, you focus on learning core programming fundamentals, as well as conforming to good coding practices. This will help accelerate not only your learning, but your ability to jump into code bases and possibly other languages should you choose to do so. And if you choose to take the advice that I've given here, I know it's gonna help accelerate your coding journey. If you enjoyed videos like this, like and follow for more, and I'll see you in the next one.